Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Yes, it's another SSTO. Get over it. Well, I gotta tell you, I was a little bored. I remember the Dragonfly videos that I made a long time ago, and I was looking at making something that was like a Dragonfly, but instead of using jet engines, it would use wings. Like literally flapping wings. This of course led to bird-like wings, that led to Dragonfly bird-like wings, that led to to a whole bunch of other crap wings that it just it, it just it wasn't it it's not gonna. Not that it's impossible, I just don't have the patience for it. It looked kind of cool though. I learned a few things, that's for sure. Uh, the in interesting reactions and stuff of this nature for the uh, game engine. But then I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna make an SSTO. Now, I wanted to make a small SSTO, like a like a drone SSTO. I've made little tiny little SSTOs like this before, like if you want to, you can check out my videos on, about that. It was it was kind of a cool little research. It was like three videos, and that's when I found out that uh, the mod restock actually changes the drag boxes on the crafts, which was really sad, but I went ahead and... Uh, took restock off and uh, decided to make the smallest STO, SSTO I could. It was funny because a bunch of people jumped in too, other KSP YouTubers, and uh, it, it was like a little competition at first, but then it, it, it was fun. It was, it was real fun. Definitely check out those videos if you ever have a chance. But no, this tiny SSTO was going to be different. Not only was it going to be air breathing with air breathing and jet, uh, jet, well, blah, 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 with a jet and rocket combination, but I also wanted wanted it to look cool. That was the main focus, the main drive to make a to make a drone SSTO that looked freaking amazing. I wanted it to look sexy. This would however become more of a challenge than I would uh, expect. First I thought it was a weight problem, so I tried to change the weight up a little bit. I took the canards off on the sides that looked really cool. I wanted those, but they were kind of heavy in comparison to the tiny little wings and elevon. So I tried the tiny little wing and elevon approach, but it just it didn't look it it was it was it was kind of, it was, mm, it was, it was, it was meh. It was real meh. So I put the canards back on and I managed to somehow get it into orbit for the first time in, 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 in hours. Uh, yeah, an hour and a half. Maybe two, maybe two hours? Yeah. However, it didn't look all, it, it, was, it was okay. Let's just say it was okay, but it didn't, it didn't look, it didn't look, it wasn't very sexy. I mean, don't get me wrong, it had potential, but it just, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. But no, no, no. So I went back to the drawing board and I and I tried to rearrange the parts in order to make it look sexier and more sci-fi-ish. I was running into that problem where if you put the canards behind the center of mass, suddenly the controls are reversed. So the S key is no longer up, it's down, and W is no longer down, it's up, all that crap. And, the, and yes, I know that you can go into options and you can switch it around so that the it's different. But for some reason, even though switching it around like that to change it, it was still screwing it up. I was noticing a very real difference between having the canard set right so that the W and S key actually res responded to their correct uh, positioning. You know, S down, W, uh, wait, wait, S up, W down. That when you had the canard in front of the center of mass, that this type of um, correct control, I should say, is is what made it fly very nicely. But if if you try to put it behind the center of mass and then go into options and change it so that it's reverted in some way, it somehow screws it up. I, I don't know how. It's just the way the game is. But I noticed a visible difference between just having it in the correct position at first in comparison to just putting it in the back and then going into options and then kind of Re reverting or reversing the controls it, it, for some reason it just it wasn't working so now knowing that it wasn't working i went ahead and designed it so that the canards worked correctly the first time that they were ahead of the center of mass this was only possible by putting little winglet thingamajiggies in the very back in order to bring the uh, center of lift just behind the center of mass i wanted to look cool and sci-fi so i so i made the little winglet things um point downwards instead of upwards in a very extreme dihedral design or reverse dihedral 
Oh. Meh. Whatever. It looked cool, damn it. Put some lights on it. Put some extra fuel on it. What I did was I took one of the Oscar B tanks and I took the uh, oxidizer out of it. So it was just liquid fuel. And that would be for the jet engine part of the part of the trip. Made sure I auto strutted everything together. Which is kind of funny because my last video, I got a lot of comments saying, why didn't you use auto strut? Or was it the last video? No, it was the, it was the video with the big, big uh, spaceship thing. And I'm wondering to myself, how do you not use auto strut? <laughs> I even said in the video I used auto strut. I don't know. I mean, you can even see me click on stuff and little orange lines pop everywhere like, you know, auto strut. I, I'm, I'm moving on. Moving on. Now, adding fuel to something to make it go further is great and all, but for for something to look cool and not be overweight and all sort of good stuff, like an SSTO, you have to also make sure that the flight path is as efficient as possible. So, not only was it yes to make sure I had enough fuel and thrust, but also my flight path, because my flight, your your flight path on any SSTO can make it or break it. As we all know, the things about SSTO flight path is that you have to be able to get high enough and go fast enough without wasting too much fuel in either category. The first thing in an for an SSTO, the first thing right off the bat is just build up enough speed to get out of the atmosphere. So speed, height, speed, basically. If somehow you fuck this up you'll be paying for it with either extra fuel or extra thrust i would love to explain more but i'm actually making or just or mm, planning on making another how to ssto video kind of an updated better version than the one i had months and months ago which is already leaning towards almost 100,000 views which is pretty cool uh thank you so much for that but anyway so for this little jo jo joan 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 hey joan how you doing <clears throat> for this little drone, I was using the Juno engine, and so Juno engine, uh, it's, it's, you can, you can make it work. If you, if you do it right, you can make it work. I would skim sea level until I reached over 700 meters per second. I would hold, hold the alt and S key for the trim to be able to point upwards slowly and controllably. I mean, we are talking about canards here, so just hitting the S key will literally, you'll, it'll, it'll, it will point its nose up so hard that you'll lose a lot of delta v very quickly so i use the trim and i hold down alt and s till about i'm about 25 degrees and then during the entire flight i try to hold it at 25 degrees this allows me to not only gain height but also as much speed as possible because orbit is all about speed it's not really about height i mean yes height is extremely important for planets with atmospheres but really an orbit is just going really 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 fast sideways basically the more fuel you you burn trying to go up instead of sideways is fuel wasted so in this case because of the fact that we're dealing with the juno jet engine we can't really spend all that time in the atmosphere we have to get out we have to get out get to the job so here i am at 25 degrees and about uh 15,000 meters up, I activate the rocket. Yes, I could activate the rocket sooner in order to, well, actually no, because I've tried this. It, it does not save Delta V. I know what a lot of you are thinking, or at least some of you. When you start losing uh, meters per second, turn on the rocket engines so you can keep the meters per second, keep on going up and blip, 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 blip. That's possible that it would work under different circumstances, but I've tried that already. Using the exact same flight method, I run out of fuel before making orbit, because even though your rocket engine is on and yes you're keeping your m uh, meters per second high you're still pushing through the atmosphere better to wait until you're at a certain height out of the atmosphere before activating the rocket so that all that thrust goes towards speed and not slowing down you know what i mean you know what i mean am i making any sense here no okay anyway so once my apoapsis hits 45,000 meters high i will go ahead and, uh, i'll go ahead and click the prograde icon making me uh making the craft not me personally <laughs> oh boy making the drone point prograde so to go full full thrust sideways and get as much speed out of my fuel as i can and pretty much that's it once i hit 75,000 meters high i just coast until i reach the apoapsis and then burn to orbit simple so there you go a cool little drone ssto a sweet sweet sci-fi ish looking ssto maybe like a spy drone or something like that i don't know its usefulness is somewhat well, uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for watching this video of KSP SSTO. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like, and if you really, 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 really liked what you saw, consider subscribing. We upload often, mostly Kerbal Space Program.
program. We also have a membership if you're interested. If you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. But anyway, that's all the time I have for today. And stiff. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's just land the thing. Let's land it. Everybody's going to say, oh, I should land it. Oh, I'm going to freaking land it. Okay, I'll freaking land it. Here you go. You want to you land it? I'm going to give it to you. There you go, it's landed. Very happy, everyone's happy, everyone's freaking happy now. Anyway, love you all, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.